Okay, so I've made a modification to the Heterodyne oscillator. Hopefully now we'll find it runs all the time from cold, even when I cool it down. So what I've done is to change the collector resistor from 560 ohms to 330 ohms, which will have the effect of increasing the Q of the tank circuit and increasing the gain of the device. I've also changed the emitter resistor from 1K to 820 ohms. That will have the effect of increasing the collector current from 2 milliamps to 2.5 milliamps again to increase the gain. So overall we've got a much more active oscillator now. So what we'll do, we'll turn it on and we'll see if the oscillator runs and then we'll freeze it and see if it stops. So we'll just turn it on now, like that, and the oscillator's running. Turn on the RF, there's our tone. So that's so far so good. Now I'm just going to give the crystal oscillator a little squirt of freezer on the crystal itself like that and like that shifts fr frequency very slightly as you'd expect but will it keep going now last time I did this before I modified the circuit the oscillator stopped pretty abruptly and uh, wouldn't start again until I, I warmed it up I actually noticed this problem first thing this morning when I came in the shack and it was quite cold and I turned it on and it was cold and the oscillator didn't start and after a short while it burst into uh, oscillation so that gave me a clear it was a thermal effect and now I've been able to, to prove it by cooling the crystal down previously, seeing it stop, doing the modification cooling it down again and noticing, it's, noticing that it keeps going so I think we're in pretty good shape there. I've also done the same modification to the um, 80 meter crystal because I also noticed just once that the 80 meter crystal band was showing exactly the same symptom, identical. So pretty sure it was the same problem. So to be sure, uh, I've modified both the 80 meter and 40 meter transistor oscillators to give them a bit more gain to compensate for the low activity crystals. It will be very difficult to locate uh, a replacement crystal at this point not to mention the expense so it's much easier just to change a couple of resistors on the oscillator and increase the gain so what I'm going to do now I'm going to put the cover back on it put it on the air and give it a really good soak test make a few QSOs on it really give it a really good run for its money before I return it to its owner thank you